Following the violence in Charlottesville this weekend carried out by white nationalists, Fox News decided to really get to the heart of the issue and find out what the real cause of all of this anger and hatred is. Take a look. There are plenty of, plenty of double standards. I mean, the left, you've been, you've, you've seen Ivy League colleges and others. Yes. There's this emphasis on multiculturalism at any cost, right? It's racial balkanization. They divide us by yes. groups and say, you're a black yes. person or yes. you're a woman or yes. you're a transsexual, whatever right. it is, as opposed to saying we are all Americans. The ideal is a set of ideas and who you are as a race or a class is always secondary yes. to being an American. And I feel like that point gets missed and it certainly gets missed when people are carrying torches, especially yes. if they're making a case, hey, nationalism means we have a country, not a series of people that happen to live together. The fact that it's collectivism versus individualism. Yes. And when you have anti-fascists calling themselves anti-fascists, but they're actually being fascist in trying to shut down speech. Yes. It's an, it's an emblematic of the contradiction. Yes. On this, on the the That's right, folks. It's not uh, uh, white supremacy. It's not the fact that we have a president who has embraced white supremacy. It's multiculturalism. It's the fact that we, according to Fox host, uh, uh, Pete Hegsworth, uh, 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 Hegseth, excuse me. It's the fact that we tell people that they are a certain race. It's that we're telling black people that they're black. I guess we shouldn't do that. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to figure it out though. Even if we don't say that to them, look, Fox news right now is really having a tough time coming to grips with the fact that that their audience is out there killing people. Remember all the times on Fox news when they would get so pissy about the fact that president Obama allegedly never called those radical Islamists who committed terrorist acts terrorists. He did by the way. So why won't Fox news come out and call these white supremacist terrorists? They killed someone. A human life was taken this weekend by white supremacists at a unite the right rally. Yeah, that's right wing supremacism, right wing terrorism, right wing violence, whatever you want to call it, just denounce it Fox news. But instead you're trying to flip the script and say that somehow these anti-fascist protesters, they're the ones that are actually somehow fascists. Do you not understand what that means? Do you not know what the tenets of fascism are? You should because you've been pushing them for decades. And that's what your organization is all about. People got killed and you're blaming the people who got killed. You won't talk bad about white supremacists. You won't denounce the KKK who was also present at parts of this rally in Charlottesville. You won't do any of that. Instead, the problem is colleges, multiculturalism, telling people that it's okay to identify as your race. If you're black or Hispanic, that's the problem in Fox news eye, not the hatred and bigotry that they spew out of their network day after day, uh, uh, mobilizing that disgusting population of the United States who believes what they say. No, it's college professors. It's anti-fascists. It's liberals. We're always the problem at Fox news. We are the ones destroying this country. In fact, on Monday morning, Fox and friends, those idiots decide to spend their morning talking about the fact that there are anti-fascist protests in Seattle. They're not talking about the fact that white supremacists killed somebody this weekend in an act of right wing terrorism. They're talking about people marching for equal rights and, you know, better treatment in Seattle. Fox news will never learn. And I think it's about time we bring back the corporate death penalty and hand it over to news Corps. And yeah, that might mean we end up having to say goodbye to shows like the Simpsons or family guy. But at this point to stop that, uh, uh, news channel from poisoning the public discourse in the United States, I'm going to have to go ahead and say that that's worth it. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not, thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.